is Judy and welcome to a new reading vlog. So this reading vlog I'm not really sure exactly how long I'm going to be doing it for. Basically today is Sunday the 17th of December which means that this week coming up is the like final Christmas week like before actual Christmas. So it's very very busy obviously for a lot of us who do celebrate Christmas and holidays generally. So I am going to be extremely busy this week but hopefully it will be a fun week nevertheless. So obviously I am still working in my full-time job so I think I have some time off over Christmas and obviously I'll be off on Christmas but I will obviously be at work this week. It will be very busy and I also have a lot of stuff to do for YouTube, for Patreon, for live <laughs> and stuff like that. I need to wrap Christmas presents, I need to do some last minute Christmas shopping and just all of that good stuff. So it's probably going to be quite the chaotic vlog and maybe more of just like a vlog than a reading vlog. I do plan to try and read a lot this week but again it's the holiday season, it's busy, will I have time? Who knows? So I did want to start a new vlog because I just closed out a previous vlog because it is like three weeks long. It's a very fun vlog, a very festive vlog. I do so many fun things. It starts on December 1st and it's like over like three weeks. It was a really fun vlog. Um, so if you haven't checked that out already, I will link it up here and in the description box. But we're going to start a brand new vlog and I'm excited because I'm going to be kicking this vlog off with a big unboxing. So you guys know every single month I do my big monthly unboxing videos, which I absolutely love to film and I know you guys love to watch. I have already filmed one that was like from November-ish and the beginning of December's book mail. And then I had a lot of things on order, mostly from the States, which I did mention in that video that hadn't arrived yet. And as it always goes, as soon as I finish on that video, all of it arrives and it was such exciting stuff that I wish I could include in that video. And I was going to film this clip here and incorporate it in that video, but I thought, you know what, it might be fun just to stick this in a vlog. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So I don't know if the unboxing video will be up before this or after. If it's already up, then I will also link that in the description and you can go and check that out. Got so many amazing books in that video. So yeah, anyway, we have a lot of stuff to unbox today, which like literally... I cannot wait to open some of this I've been waiting so long for and I just love buying bookish merch and books obviously like it makes me so happy I do love to shop I'm not gonna lie I am one of those people I love going shopping and just getting bits and pieces and when I like something I'm all in I want all of the merch I want all of the t-shirts I want all of the bookmarks the dust jackets everything like I am all in I am obsessive like no joke um so yeah i go hard when i like something and black friday definitely enabled that because on black friday i made a lot of purchases of things i've been eyeing up but couldn't commit to buying so i ordered from a few stores in the states which the shipping is super expensive for which is why i held off but because of the discount from black friday i was like girl math it kind of works out it's fine I did include one of those things in my monthly unboxing but the rest of them have arrived and one of them i'm just like i know i'm gonna squeal when i open it so we have all of these here to open so we have two fairy loots we have this to open an amazon parcel this one which i'm very excited for we also have this tube to open then we have this huge box and this locked library box to open and then i have a couple of honorable mentions as well so we have a lot of things to unbox here and i'm just so excited if you can already tell so yes let's get started with this vlog with a big unboxing and then we will talk more about reading plans and just general plans for the day so i'm gonna get my little box cutter and then I'm going to open this. See, this is why I love book mail because it feels like Christmas. It's, I'm just so excited. Okay, so I've piled them all up behind me and I'm just like, I'm so excited. I've said that a million times. I know, I'm sorry, but I have the box cutter. So we're going to go in for this fairy loot one first. Now, I do know what this one is. I believe this is my adult book only for the month of December and I'm so excited. A little disclaimer though, I do get these books for my job. So yeah just want to put that out there i am so excited so december's theme is eclipse how stunning is this artwork obviously i'm obsessed with it because there's a moon on it and our featured book of the month is Feybound, and i am so excited for this book this is an adult fantasy and this is the fairy loot exclusive edition absolutely stunning i am obsessed i can't wait to read this so this edition has an exclusive cover, as you can see here, with some stunning gold foiling across it. I love gold foiling, it's my obsession, honestly. Um, it just adds so much to a book. 
we also have this stunning digital sprayed edge look at this edge guys honestly like how freaking stunning is that we have a solid top and bottom edge as well to match i just oh this is some of my favorite edges i've ever seen honestly so here is our first lot of end papers and we have our little signature here and then on the back end papers we have this art which is so freaking beautiful and then we have our naked hardback which again the gold foiling has me in a chokehold so this is the front we have the spine and then we have the back of the hardcover so if i open this up you can see the full design here stunning obsessed wow but that is not all there is also a reverse dust jacket which is absolutely beautiful i love the art on these i love a reverse dust jacket and i'm sorry about my lighting probably ruining it but as you can see it is very stunning you'll have to take my word for it i've heard so many good things about this book and i'm very excited to read it this doesn't officially get published until january 2024 so it is on my anticipated releases list and you will see it featured in that video as well um but fairly got it a little bit early which is very exciting so this is a romantic fantasy and we follow two sisters who are forced out of the elven lands and into the wilderness and there they find this seductive fake court that kind of nobody knew really existed which hasn't really been seen for a millennium so if that doesn't pique your interest i don't know what will um anything with Faye in, honestly i'm sold immediately and like i said i've heard so many good things about this book and the romance in it so i'm very very excited to get to it um but yeah this book is so so stunning i love the foiling i love the color scheme the edges everything about it so that is our first little unboxing mail i think i'll open this other fairly one in a little bit i think next let's go for the lock library so i can't remember what the book is for this month but I did see that January's book is one of their new ones where they're doing like this archive series thing where um, they are basically reprinting one of their older books but with like a new custom like design. So if you don't want to be spoiled, don't look at their Instagram. But I am so excited for that book. I haven't read it yet but I know I'm going to love it when I do read it because I love the author. And yeah, like that edition just looks beautiful. So maybe go and check it out if you don't want to miss out. But beware, they will likely spoil what the book is. But yeah, the Lock Library is a monthly subscription done by HarperCollins, I want to say. I think I'm pretty sure it's HarperCollins. I'll double check in a minute. So I signed up to this a couple of months ago, I think for the October one. And I like the October one, but I wasn't a huge fan of last month's book. So I'm hoping this one is better. I feel like from what I've heard, they are very hit and miss. I just want to test out the subscription and see what it's like for a bit longer. I don't actually know if you can skip books um, or not. But anyway, it does come wrapped. I've kind of just destroyed it. But it comes wrapped, which is nice. So I haven't actually heard of this book either. And this is A River of Golden Bones by A.K. Mulford. And it says, A Curse to Break a Kingdom to Save. And this is the cover here. So we have kind of like a foil almost, I think. Or maybe it's just a gloss. I think it is just a gloss. I'm not sure. Um, but this is what it looks like. And then we have the back here. I do really like these edges. I like the wolf. So these are the sprayed edges, which are very stunning. I love anything with a wolf on. I have not heard of this book before, so I'm interested to see what it's about. And um, these do not come signed by the author, but they do come with a letter bound inside, which is really, really cool. Full of adventure, love, gender exploration, and self discovery. A river of golden bones follows Kala's journey through treacherous wolf kingdoms, monster filled realms, and the depth of her own heart in this thrilling romantic fantasy okay so we have wolves and we have romance two things i do very much like so i am actually quite excited for this book it says a sleeping curse a fallen court a secret twin so yes this sounds very intriguing um it's the first book in the golden court series have not heard a single thing about this book so i'm definitely intrigued and um, we do also have this stunning foil under the dust jacket i love that the gold gorgeous i do feel like this is quite on brand for december with the red and gold vibe so yes very excited to read this if you have read this book please let me know your thoughts down below but this does sound like something i will like and i'm very intrigued by the wolf element go for the fairy loot one again um so i think the fairy loot one is a pre-order that i have so this is her radiant curse i believe which is a pre-order by elizabeth lim and honestly these are some of my favorite fairy loot editions ever so elizabeth lim also wrote six crimson cranes which is a duology and then there's also a ya duology called the blood of stars duology so that one is the spin the dawn 
Duology. I do own the fairly editions of that. I haven't got around to reading it yet, but I definitely want to. But I think Her Radiant Curse is set in the same world as Six Crimson Cranes. And it says here, it's a thrilling yet heart-wrenching fantasy that explores the dark side of beauty and the deepest bonds of sisterhood. So yeah, I like that it's set in the same world. I haven't read Six Crimson Cranes yet. I definitely do plan to. Um, I was waiting for The Dragon's Promise to come out and then I just didn't get around to reading it once that come out. So I definitely plan to read these soon, maybe in 2024. And I'm very excited that I have this edition to match. Um, so this is what the cover looks like. Super beautiful. It does have these subtle kind of silver star foiling on it. I don't know if you guys can really see that picking up on camera. Um, but it's so stunning. I love the colour scheme for this edition. And then we have these really cool sprayed edges with these snakes on, which do match the other ones I have. So I'm very excited about that. And then it is signed by the author inside, which is super cool. And then under the dust jacket, we do have this really gorgeous artwork. Absolutely love this. I love foiling and I love characters on the naked hardback. So I think this is a stunning, stunning design. Wow, just so pretty. The butterflies are doing it for me. This is what it looks like. So yes, I am very, very excited about having this edition to go on my shelves next to my other Elizabeth Lynn books. And I cannot wait to read these books next year because I've heard so many good things about the duology and this one. And I love it when authors do kind of like little extra books that are set in the same world. Because if you really enjoy the duology, but you want more, you get something like this and I think that's really nice. So yeah, this is the fairly exclusive edition and I am very happy that I have this. So I'm gonna do the tube next. Now I think these are dust jackets from Bluey Boo, which I'm very excited about. If you guys didn't know, Bluey Boo is one of my favorite artists ever. If you haven't watched my vlog where I went to Yelp, there's a haul in there where I pretty much bought her entire shop because I'm not obsessed with her art, honestly. Like literally one of the best artists and these dust jackets are so beautiful. I do need to now go and buy some hard covers for them though <laughs> but i'm so excited to have these the first dust jacket is this stunning caraval one which look how beautiful this is so this is obviously by stephanie garber and this is what the jacket looks like now i'm not going to do this justice because obviously it's not on the book but once I do track down a hardcover copy, I will definitely put it on and show you guys in another vlog. Um, but this is what that one looks like. And then we also have this stunning Once Upon a Broken Heart dust jacket. I love this so much. Look at the art and look on the end. Just so pretty. So I'm very excited to put this on a hardcover when I can get my hands on one. So yeah, we do have two dust jackets here and I'm just so excited that I have them. I might have a spare copy of Once Upon a Broken Heart, but the Caraval series, I do have two copies of it, but I don't want to change the dust jacket on one of them because one's the UK hardbacks and one's the US ones. Um, so I'm going to go on Vinted, I think, and try and find like another one for these. But very, very excited to have these. And like I said, I just love Blue Boo so much. I will link the store down below, but I'm pretty sure they're closing for the holidays now and reopening the new year with like a restock and some other stuff. Um, but this is the information here. Would highly recommend. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy that I have those. So next we have this Amazon one, which I haven't seen yet, but my mum has opened. I'm going to look because I know this is going to be a gift because I haven't ordered anything. Oh my god. Okay, I knew this was a heavy. Oh my god, what? Oh my god, I'm literally going to cry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, right, just... Let me just take a second because I don't want to cry because my eyelashes will come off. <laughs> so this is from Ud, I think is how you pronounce the name. I'm really sorry if I pronounce that incorrectly. I believe it is the French pronunciation, but I'm struggling to pronounce it correctly. So I'm very, very sorry if I am. Um, but I just had to take a second because as you guys saw my eyes, get a little bit watery um, because the note alone just literally made me so like emotional but i just can't i don't have the words like i am honestly in shock right now they got me this <laughs> Which, like what so if you are new here or for some reason you've missed this about me i love these books Sarah J Master's books are like my whole personality basically Sarah J Master's books were something that helped me through one of the darkest times in my entire life um when i was in my very late teens 
and for that reason they do have like a special place in my heart but I also just generally love the characters and the world and if you know me you know I love to collect every single edition of my favourite books. I have an entire bookshelf behind me that is Sarah J Maas and I didn't have the paperback editions of the new covers and I was wanting to get them because I really want to reread and annotate them and annotate the paperbacks and the box also is very stunning that these come in. Now I have some which is just like I don't even have words honestly like I'm just so shocked that I have these like I, I don't even know how to begin to thank you for this like this is so incredible and generous and I am honestly at a loss for words just know like I am so grateful and this is one of the nicest things I've ever received and the note as well like this is like a little early Christmas present is what the note says and this is like the best Christmas present <laughs> like I just can't like oh my god I don't want to start tearing up again but <sighs> okay so we have these I'm just like what what is going on what is going on and this is actually kind of crazy because i do have some more throne of glass stuff to show you guys in the rest of this like unboxing i'm trying to open this without like cutting the books and actually like i know this is a really weird thing but i haven't actually properly looked at the paperback covers up close yet um so i'm really really excited oh my god oh just seriously thank you so much like i <laughs> just like oh my god. i'm losing it guys Okay, so let me show you the box. This is the box, which is so pretty. I love it. And then I'm just going to try and get out the books um, if they want to come out. Just show the first two, but the covers are so stunning and like the font is like embossed here. I'm just so happy right now. Oh my God. Like this is just, I just, wow. Like I honestly, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like I'm honestly just so like in a state of shock right now um but yes i am just incredibly grateful and i feel so so lucky um and just thank you so much i would like i i don't even know what to say <laughs> i'm gonna send you a message to say thank you um but wow like what what an, just i can't, I can't even speak um but yes we have that box and i may as well show this when i said before i have honorable mentions so yesterday my granddad actually got me this from costco i actually didn't own the paperback editions of the court of guns and roses series of the new covers and i did want them obviously because like i said i do like to have every edition and i just like i'm a huge fan so he got me the akatar paperback box set um when it was in costco so it comes in this box which is really really cool and then obviously you do get all of the books here so yeah i also have this this is insane to have both of these in the space of like a week continuing on from that i may as well show this one because i do know what this is um this is the throne of glass hardcover box set and you may be asking jody why have you ordered that why do you need another one when you already have several and my answer is I ordered some more custom dust jackets um, in the Black Friday sale. Basically, every single Christmas, I always get myself um, some custom dust jackets, usually Sarah Day Mask. Oh my God, what have, are they super glued this box down? Yes, it is something I started doing over the last couple of years and I got myself some in the Black Friday sale and as a result, I needed another hardcover set to put the dust jackets on. So this is definitely very much a Sarah J Mask <laughs> unboxing, but yeah i'll be surprised so we do have the hardcover box set which is very heavy so i do already own these i literally only bought this for my new dust jacket but i don't have the box which is really cool it has all the covers on the back so yeah we do have our third box set of the video this is insane guys like look at this i i have a problem like like this is wild and then we also have this one which i don't think you can see in the frame um that is a whole lot of sarah j mass um so yeah we have three sarah j mass box sets um but like i said this one was purchased for good reason and it is that i need it for this from nerdy ink so i already own their other editions so basically they have these really cool 
um, Throat of Glass and Akatata jackets, which I already have. And then they released these new ones with foiling on. And I was like, I really want those. So I did decide to get myself them for Christmas, um, as is my tradition. And yeah, they are stunning. I'm not going to put them on the books right now, but I'll do it later in this vlog and show you guys. But I'll try and quickly flick through them um, if I can. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for these. I thought they were lost in the mail because they got held up for so long. Okay, so we have our throne of glass here. As you can see, it has the foiling. We have the assassin's blade. We have a crown of midnight, air of fire, queen of shadows, empire of storms, tower of dawn. And then lastly, we have kingdom of ash. So yes, I am super happy to have those in my collection and i just love nerdy ink stuff jackets so much um and then we are continuing the sarah j mass theme <laughs> so this is from the common room which is a bookish company based in the states that i have been wanting to order from for the longest time but like i said shipping is very expensive now i wish i kind of ordered a lot more but i already spent a fortune just on these two items but like the reason I say that is one because obviously I do want a lot more stuff from their store but also the fact that chicken is like so expensive it's worth like ordering a lot so I think I'm gonna save up in the new year and if I am maybe using Christmas money I received to maybe do another order because there are other things I want from there and some of the stuff was out of stock so maybe they'll restock um but I managed to get these two things anyway which I'm super grateful that I got my hands on and very excited about so the first one I got is this t-shirt which I've seen so many of my faves wearing and I wanted it so bad and I wanted it oversized so I decided to get a medium I think maybe I should I have got a large I feel like this is oversized but I wanted it like very oversized this is like a swifty kind of akatar vibe um and it says I drive down different roads but they all lead back to you and then in the heart we have the original three from the Akutar series which I love I got it in white look how cute this is I'm so happy that I have this this is my favorite series of all time and I'm obsessed with this t-shirt it's so cute I definitely want to get more and then the thing I was most excited about is this jumper now I wanted this in a very big size to have this oversized but unfortunately they were totally sold out so I think I got it in a medium um which will still be slightly on the oversized vibe but not like super oversized which is what i wanted i wanted a larger an xl um but i could only get a medium because they were sold out but this is a terracin jumper look at this i'm so excited so this is inspired by throne of glass it is knitted it's stunning and this is what it looks like how gorgeous is that i love it i feel like the medium might actually be like kind of oversized a little bit with like some jeans it'll look really cute um but this is the tarasin knitted jumper and i am obsessed um i believe they are doing a valaris one next year which i definitely plan to get my hands on but for now i have this tarasin one i'm just so happy like i can't wait to wear this i've been checking tracking every day that is my very large and heavily sarah j mass book unboxing i hope you guys enjoyed that um i'm aware the first portion of this vlog is probably super long so i might just only vlog today and we'll have this as like a unboxing slash like daily vlog kind of vibe um i do have a lot of stuff to get done today um it's currently 11 20 a.m so i've been up since like 6 37 this morning but i've just been like pottering around the house and doing some bits and bobs got ready um so i do have a lot of stuff i want to get done today because like i said this is the last like day before like christmas kind of starts because next weekend is like christmas eve and christmas eve eve so, so i have lots of like plans and stuff that weekend so this is like my last day to get kind of stuff done so I do need to pop into town which is super annoying because I went yesterday but I couldn't find any Christmas cards that I liked and I still have a lot of Christmas cards I need to write so I need to go into town get Christmas cards um I need to take a skirt back because it's just not a vibe you know when you buy something and you're like yeah I like this and then you get home and you're like do you know what maybe I don't like this as much and yeah so I just need to take that back as well um and then I do have a couple of gifts that I still need to get but I just don't know if I can get them in town so maybe we'll do some online shopping um but I need to do that and then I have some videos I want to film today so my plan is to film my end of year book haul now that I've unboxed this stuff I can film that 
Um, I also want to film my anticipated releases for 2024 video. I did spend about an hour this morning going through Goodreads and things like that and making a list. So I do have a lot of books I want to talk about for that video. So I think I'm going to do that. I have two Patreon videos I need to edit and I also have my monthly unboxing video to edit and then whatever I do film today. So I want to get all that filmed. I have a vlog to edit that I need to get sorted as well. I'm going to have to make thumbnails. I need to take photos for Bookstagram today and for my thumbnails. I also kind of want to film a couple of reels. Um, then I want to wrap some presents and I think think that is everything so yeah there is so much to get done today hopefully there is time for reading somewhere because I haven't read all week because I've just been so busy but also TikTok is becoming a serious problem I'm spending far too much time scrolling on TikTok or through reels like in the evenings I'll be like right I'm gonna sit down now I've had dinner I've cleaned up I'm gonna sit and read and then I'll be like I'll just watch a TikTok video and then I sit there for hours and then I need to go to sleep or it's Instagram Reels and it's becoming an issue. So if anyone has any advice for not doing that, because the thing is, is like, it's easy to say, just put your phone down, but like, you guys know what it can be like and I can't remove the apps because I need them for work. Um, so that is also the question. So if anyone has any apps where you can like, maybe like lock Instagram or TikTok for like an hour or something where you can't go on them and you have to like, just not go on them if you know what i mean well, please let me know down below because it is becoming a problem and i need to quickly stop it before the new year but if i do do any reading today i'm probably going to continue reading on with the ever king by lj andrews because i started this the other weekend and i haven't read any more so i really would like to continue reading this book i really want to read a couple of books at least before the end of the year i'm definitely not making my goodreads goal this year which is unfortunate but it's fine and i might read some manga as well but i don't know if i'll be doing that today but yes, this is a very, very long clip, which I am very aware of. So I think we are just going to keep this down to like one vlog, which will be today's vlog. And then maybe I will start a new vlog again tomorrow and we'll film over Christmas until maybe like New Year's or something. But for now, we'll just see how the day goes. Those are my plans. That is all the amazing book mail I have received. And now let's get stuff done. First off, let's tidy this mess that is now my library and I'm gonna go make a nice coffee because I really want iced coffee. So I will catch up with you guys very shortly.
as you can see there's mess behind me so let's ignore that but i have filmed some tiktoks and reels i still want to film some more but i don't know if i've got time but i filmed like i think three or four so that's fine i've put the dust jackets on the three glass hard covers and i've tidied up a little bit in my library so it's currently 12 30 so it's took me about like an hour or so to do all that which isn't too bad um but i'm aware that i really do need to pop into town and i need to do that like in the next hour or two um and my battery needs charged on my camera now so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pop my camera on charge for a little bit i'm gonna pop around the house and do a few little bits here and there that i need to and then i'm gonna try and film at least one of the videos that i mentioned before um because even though i don't like filming in like the evening when there's like no daylight I can if I have to so I might film like one of my videos later this evening um, but yeah I think for now I am just gonna like pot around let my camera charge for a little bit and then do what I need to I might edit my other vlog actually while my camera charges and get that exported so yeah I just want to give you guys a little update as to what I've been doing and I guess now I will just go and do all the stuff I just said I was gonna do <laughs> so bye <laughs> It's kind of cold, but you know you've got a hand to hold. Come along out and play. What a wonderful day! Mm -hmm. Your white cheeks are so hard to resist. And those red lips are longing. For okay, hey guys, so it's been quite a while since I updated this vlog. So I thought I'd just pop on and say hi. Um, so today is Saturday the 23rd of December. So it's Christmas Eve Eve. And yeah, since I last chatted to you guys, I have done no reading. It unfortunately has not been a good week. I think you guys will have seen that I did go to the Christmas market. And I did have a nice time. And like it looked really, really good um as you guys have seen but i kind of just want to like be um i don't know what the word is that i'm looking for authentic but not authentic like that's not the word i'm looking for but like something kind of similar to that i guess what i'm trying to say is like how when we watch people online we're only seeing such small snippets of their day or their life and like things can always look so much better on camera than they do. I am so guilty of watching other people's content and thinking their life is perfect or like thinking like why doesn't my life look like that or why is this certain thing like that way for them but not for me and whatever. Like it's so easy to do that and look at someone's life and think it's perfect or they have anything or they're happy. And so I did just want to point out just to like I don't know I don't know if this will make people feel better but also I just want it like to be real if that makes sense because I'd feel really like a fraud putting that b-roll in there and then like making it look like I had this really amazing night when it was fun and it was really lovely to spend time with my family but I literally cried my eyes out at that Christmas market like I was just so overwhelmed and like just like so much is going on at the moment that I literally cried <laughs> to my dad um so yeah it was fun but it was also not so fun because I literally was crying my eyes out and it was just a horrible night um like emotionally so yeah nothing is as it seems is what I'm trying to say like don't take everything take everything with a pinch of salt like some things are as good as they seem some things aren't and like I just want to emphasize like you never know what is going on behind a screen and this applies to like people's instagrams or any form of media we consume you just never really know what's going on so i did just want to say that because i do just want to emphasize that point because especially this time of year with christmas obviously like people are making lots of videos going and doing all these amazing things and like christmas hauls and stuff and it's very easy to compare yourself to these people and like it can sometimes take the joy out of your own experience so i just kind of want to remind people that like sometimes it's not necessarily what it looks like and to i guess kind of 
like don't let that affect your happiness and your experiences and just remember like that you are seeing small snippets of people's life you are seeing the highlights not the low lights which isn't really a thing but you know what I mean so yeah I kind of just wanted to like one mention that because I don't ever want to post like footage of anything and make it look like something was like a perfect experience when it definitely wasn't and two like I said I feel like it highlights a really good point of remembering to not compare your life to other people's through the media you consume and that you don't know what people are going through behind a screen so yeah just want to start off with that but it was still a really nice night I had some yummy crepes I think they're called and it was just nice to be with my family so I did go to the Christmas market and then I got sick again. I don't know what's wrong with me recently. I seem to be picking up everything. So I think I might need to go to the doctor and just double check like I'm not low on anything or something because yeah, like it's not even that I'm getting ill a lot. It's like how ill I'm getting when I do get ill. Um, So yeah, I got ill. I've still got something now, but I'm feeling a little bit better today, which I'm so thankful for. Um, definitely not back to normal but better enough that I've actually been able to put makeup on and get dressed and leave my bed but basically I did get ill um, and then not only that because I was so ill I was making myself a hot water bottle in the morning and I know you should not do this do not do this this is me just like I was very delirious and I was so cold at the time that I just wasn't thinking straight so please never do this um, but basically I was pouring a freshly boiled kettle so boiling hot water into a hot water bottle which is extremely dangerous and you're not supposed to put boiling hot water in there again I was like really not thinking straight like this is how sick I was and I also had like full body shakes and tremors and my hand like spasmed as I was pouring the hot water in I do suffer with hand tremors occasionally anyway from an illness I had as a kid um, and when I'm ill it gets a lot worse and as I'm pouring it in, my hand like shook and it didn't just miss, I fully poured a boiling hot kettle onto my hand. Um, so if you see this in any videos, this is why, so this bandage is gross, I'm going to get it changed today. It's not as bad as it was, but that is the worst pain I've ever experienced in my entire life. So I had to go and get this on, which has definitely helped. But, oh my god, I've never experienced pain like that. So, this is just a public service announcement. Do not ever use boiling hot water for your hot water bottle. Ever. Um, and if you are using boiling hot water for anything, including making a cup of tea, be careful and don't pour it on your hand. Um, but like I said, it was an accident. I had, like, body tremors. Shouldn't have been doing it. But I was so cold, I just wanted a hot water bottle. I had cramps in my stomach. I just really was not thinking straight. Um, so, lesson learned. But, yeah, I did severely burn my hand, which was not fun and then pair that with this illness anyway which I just yeah anyway woe is me I just want to explain why I haven't vlogged this week like I said I was going to um and why everything's kind of chaotic right now so yeah as it sounds I'm feeling a little bit better today like I haven't got like full body pains like I had and um, my head's eased off the only thing I have now is I do have stomach cramps which I don't know if it's related to the cold they're very sore and I do have this most irritating cough and yeah but besides that i'm feeling a little bit better so i feel like that's a good thing because i do have plans on christmas eve with jamie's family um and obviously it's christmas weekend so i still have a lot of stuff to do so i do need to go to a medical appointment later this afternoon to get my hand looked at again and i think to get it rebandaged so hopefully like nothing is too concerning and they can just bandage it up again um it has been hurting a little bit more today and I can't wash my hair because I can't do it one-handed so my mum tried to wash my hair last night but I don't know what she did I don't think she washed the shampoo out properly so my hair feels disgusting so I need to wash it again um so that's why my hair is looking like this and it still looks wet but it isn't so I, she definitely didn't wash conditioner out properly or something I don't know um but I'm grateful that she even like could wash my hair for me but yeah I'm gonna have to get Jamie to wash my hair I think tonight but yeah anyway that's besides the point I like I said just want to talk about where I've been what I've been up to um and yeah today's plans I need to go to that appointment it isn't until very late this afternoon which kind of sucks but I think I'm going to go meet Jamie and do my last bits of Christmas shopping because I need to get like my nan some chocolates like as an extra thing to go with 
her presents. I need to get some like little gift cards and stuff. Um, so I do want to try and grab those today. I don't want to do it on Christmas Eve and I just don't think I'd have time to tomorrow because I'm doing like a little Christmas Eve breakfast with Jamie's family tomorrow morning. Then I'm meeting up with my old manager from the bookstore for coffee and we always exchange gifts every year. So we're going to do that and then I'm going to pop into the bookstore and like see all my old colleagues and stuff, which will be really, really nice because I haven't seen them for like a couple of months now. And then I think we're going to come home, chill for a little bit, wrap presents. And then I think we might go to my parents tomorrow night um, and spend Christmas Eve there because I miss doing that. And then obviously we will come home. But I am planning to try and vlog tomorrow. Um, I won't be vlogging on Christmas Day for this vlog. I usually film like a vlog for Patreon. So I might do that. It depends if like I'm feeling better by then. But yeah, like I'm just a very stressed at the moment. Like Christmas is always stressful anyway because obviously so much is happening, so much to do. And this year, like, I don't think I fully planned it out very well. And obviously I've gotten sick, which hasn't helped. And I am just like, yeah, there's so much to do. I haven't even wrapped presents except for Jamie's. So I still need to wrap everyone's presents, which is gonna be challenging when like my hands are sore. And I still have so much content to, edit for patreon and for youtube and i'm just like honestly it's taken the joy of it for me because i'm so behind on it because of i've just been like so ill that i just like was very selfish i was kind of like i need to just like not do anything and just literally sleep and that's what i've been doing um now i am really behind i've had like etsy orders to do i had more christmas cards to send out and i've been rushing around trying to do that stuff and like all my other stuff um so all down to me poor time management um and just a very busy month so i do need to also try and get those things done before christmas day which i didn't really want to be spending this weekend doing any like content related stuff or work stuff but alas i want to do it in a way it needs doing so yeah anyway I know this has been a very like kind of depressing <laughs> update but I always aim to be realistic. I never ever want to appear like my life is something it isn't um, and yeah so anyway that's what's been happening. Now let's move on to something fun. So I have a fairy loot parcel um, and this is going to be an exclusive edition set. This is the Red Rising Iron Edition what was that so this is the red rising iron edition set so basically fairy loot has a new kind of exclusive edition so currently there's like exclusive editions so like special editions that are outside of the subscription box then there's also mortal editions so a lot of them are like our romance books and then also we now have iron editions which is basically like archived kind of books so yeah it's basically like kind of taking a set that we did many years ago and then now doing all like the customizations we do now on it if that makes sense um so you can find more information about the iron editions that fairly's doing on the website but yeah this is the red rising iron editions so you had the option to get it with the pin or without the pin so i have the pin here which is super cool so this is what the pin looks like so i haven't read this series yet but everyone is obsessed with it um, and I'm very excited to dive into it at some point. I'm trying not to start any new series at the moment until I finish some of the ones I've already started, which there are many. So here are the spines. I love the colours. So pretty. We have the first book here, Red Rising. So this is what it looks like. We have the coat on the back and then we have these sprayed edges. Some cool M papers. It is signed by Pierce Brown. And then underneath the dust jacket, we have this really cool red foil design with this cool design on the back as well. Then we have Golden Sun, which is the second one. This one is obviously gold. <laughs> um, and then we have these really cool sprayed edges. We have these end papers here, more end papers on the back, signature here, and then we have this stunning gold foil design on this one. I love this one. I think this one is probably my favourite, um, just because she looks so badass. Like, I don't know who she is, but she looks cool. And then we have the third book, which is Morningstar. Again, I just love the, like, kind of holographic vibe. It's not holographic, but it has the vibes. Um, if you know what I mean. And then we have this sprayed edge. We have 
this end paper here. We have this art at the back here. Signature here. And then we have the blue foiling under this dust jacket, which looks like this. So yeah, I really, really love these additions. And I forgot to show. So this is what all the spines look like together, which is super cool. Like how cool are these going to look on your bookshelf? Um, so yeah, they all line up like this. And then there is also this design at the top which lines up as well and yeah i just really really love these sprayed edges like i'm kind of obsessed i'm not gonna lie and i'm very excited to read this series because i've just heard so many good things about it and it's kind of making me nervous i'm not gonna lie but yeah um so these are the foliage iron editions of the red rising series so that was my little bit of book mail i'm gonna go now because i will be going to the medical center shortly um to get my hands sorted and then like i said i think i am gonna have to pop into town and get some bits that i need which i really don't want to do like i really 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 don't want to but i think i might have to um i honestly don't know what my reading plans are i am just still in a slump and i've been in a slump for like six months which is really just I don't know I've never been in a slump this long in my life and I think it's just because I've gone through so many changes and I don't really do well with change I'm not gonna lie hello so yeah this I just I don't know I think it's all the changes in life that I've gone through and there's been lots of uh brain goblins happening and just many things that I think of all just kind of accumulated I don't know just made me not have the ability to read anymore so yeah I've read like one book this month which was The Scarlet Alchemist and besides that I've not really finished anything else I am planning to read Love Light Farms because it's my Patreon book club pick and do a vlog for that so I do need to do that because obviously we have like what one week left of the month um and then I want to try and reread Crescent City so yeah those are my plans anyway i'm gonna go because this clip is super long and i'll catch up with you guys probably later this evening okay i'm back because i got another two fairly parcels of it just now so i'm gonna open these really quick and then i do need to leave um i feel so nauseous which is not fun um but anyway let's do this so oh i've been so excited for this edition so the first one we have is um i think it's my roommate is a vampire i think is what it's called let's see yeah so my roommate is a vampire and this is the fairly exclusive edition so i think you can only get this in paperback everywhere so part of the exclusivity is the hardcover element but i could be wrong i'm still a little bit like delulu right now but anyway this is what it looks like it's so cute i'm so excited to read this book look how stunning the cover is so yeah this is what it looks like we have this really cool ombre edge and then we also have a signature from the author which is super cute and then under the dust jacket we have this how cute is this i'm obsessed with it i love it stunning 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 i cannot wait to read this um so yeah this is kind of like a paranormally supernaturally romance rom-com vibe and yeah i just love this this is stunning so we have that book and then the next parcel is this one which i think will be the bridge kingdom set um but as i said i think earlier i can't remember what shipped and what hasn't so i could be wrong but maybe that one will be coming soon i think this is the bridge kingdom yay okay yeah so this is the bridge kingdom i am so excited about this so this is the first two books and I love this series. This is like perfect enemies to lovers vibes. If you love enemies to lovers, you need to read these books. So yes, these are so pretty. I'm so happy. Look at them, they are gorgeous. We have The Bridge Kingdom and The Traitor Queen by Daniel L. Jensen and I love them. I love them, I love them. Look at that foiling. Oh, they're even better in person braid edges oh my god wait till you see them so this is what the actual foiling looks like it goes all the way around the vibes i just think the vibes are so perfect um and then we have this really cool sprayed edge with the dagger how cool is that i love it the vibrancy of the colors like i don't think my camera is quite doing this justice i think it just wants to focus on my face to be honest and not the book but yeah stunning we have 
the same matching and papers inside and it is signed as well so under the jacket it looks like this but then we also have a reversible dust jacket which is absolutely stunning so this is what the reverse dust jacket does look like absolutely gorgeous i love it kind of want to reread this series i listened to it via audio and honestly the audio books are the best like they're so good um so that is the bridge kingdom and then we have the traitor queen so this is what the foiling is looking like for this one we have our sprayed edge again absolutely stunning obsessed is also signed by the author we have our matching end papers and then we have this design under the dust jacket and then this is our reverse dust jacket which is very very pretty um so yeah this is the stunning fairly exclusive editions of the bridge kingdom series and i love them they're so stunning i can't wait to put them on my shelf i love when i get fairy mail fairy mail is the best mail like look at these stunning books let's show the tops of the bridge kingdom books this is them here they have these stunning designs top and bottom these are all these stunning fairy books that i have to add to my bookshelves i really need to film an end of year book haul because i have accumulated a lot of books again um most of them are through work so i mean it's not like the worst thing um and yeah there are a lot so i think i'm going to try and film that hopefully before the end of the year um that would make sense considering it's an end of year book haul i was already planning to have had that done by now but because i got sick obviously i've not been filming so we'll see if i managed to do that or not but yeah anyway now i am gonna go and i will talk to you guys later